Hello again, this is my third video of the day um, for the mailbag, so mailbag number three. Uh, so um, there's nothing much, it's a bag that I purchased uh, about two, three weeks ago that I've kept on the side and I haven't uh, uh, done anything with it. Uh, it's a more staple material, nothing fancy, so I'm going to show you what I have. So I got uh, some bridge rectifiers. Uh, I, I like the fact that it's flat and it's not the high ones. I wanted to use those for a particular reason, but not sure if I'm going to use them anymore. Uh, I've got uh, some IDC 40 pin uh, connectors for a flat ribbon. So if I wanted to do um, uh, an IDE um, uh, ribbon cable, uh, if I don't find any, I can do my one myself. I have some uh, IDC40 here, I think. No, where is it? What did I do with it? Well, anyways, I'm gonna show you something else in the meantime. I have some DB25 connectors, uh, PC mount, a PCB mount. I got male and female, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, four of each. I have some DB9 connectors, uh, male and female. Uh, practical for when I'm going to uh, do my uh, SIO card. I know I'm, I said I'm going to use a USB, but uh, I think I'm going to put one RS232 in there. Uh, I have some, um, some um, terminal uh, screw uh, posts here, um, terminal blocks. They were like, how much was the price there? No, it doesn't say the price. I could have bought maybe a bit more, but it didn't matter. I have some IDC uh, DB25s, male and female here. So I can uh, do my own cable again. Same thing with the DB29. I have some IDCs um, here too. Um, ah, there they are. The um, shrouded um, IDC uh, 2x10s. That's going to be for my uh, USB keyboard. Uh, but I had some, you know, so I purchased them not thinking. So that's uh, overstock. I got some more USB connectors. Uh, I got the um, male end. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those because it's not going to be practical to plug in things on the card, right? It's preferable to have the the female version of the uh, of the adapter. Sorry, I'm not centered. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'm gonna make something out of it eventually. Got some USB B connectors, so that's gonna be practical. Also, uh, got some chips. Got a few uh, varieties. What do I have? I have uh, 74 HCT 175. 573 and uh, 574 574 and another here um, 140 that's no, no uh, 74 LS05 and 373 yeah so i got some it's not really well packed i mean like i said it's a surplus store so uh, they don't have necessarily the best uh, handling of their materials i also have they had these this is how i built my uh, this is the these are the same connectors i use from that store for my uh, uh, back plane. Uh, unfortunately, you had, to, you had to choose the right ones, right? Because some of them have bent pins. This one's not too bad, What's uh, but uh, some others, I've got a few of them, uh, like so. So these are basically surplus. Um, not too shabby, actually. I chose well. I think there's one that, that's uh, a bit too bad. Um, that's that's it for this, but I do want to note that last week I did purchase the 16-bit version of the uh, ESA uh, connector, the 96 position one. So here it is. 
So we're unwrapping it and this is it. So I bought these from, um, what was it? Uh, Phoenix uh, Enterprises in the United States. And um, it was like 68 cents each. You have to order $30 minimum. So I ordered 50. <laughs> so I think I, I could have ordered like uh, 30 something, uh, 40 something, but I said, the hell with it. Uh, 50 will be good. Made Foxconn uh, from Foxconn. Uh, what else? Well, the pins are nice. Wonder if the contacts are, are good. Uh, other than that, these are going to last me for quite some time. They're going to be used for my uh, my new um, passive backplane when I when I order it. Yeah, and that's it. So that is it for uh, this mail back mail bag <laughs> mail back. Yeah, right. Uh, so um, see you next time.